What up guys, uh, my name is Carl. Today I'm going to be talking about or discussing about Die Hard 1, 2, and 3 and really tell you what I like, which movie that I like and in order of 1, 2, and 3 and just really kind of just talk about it and exp tell you guys what I think. Um, so, what, was, what would I put in the orders? I would put Die Hard 1 and Die Hard 3 and then Die Hard 2 in that particular orders. And there are other movies too. There are other Die Hard movies. But in the early 80s and 90s, I'm just focusing on those three movies. And there are other movies too. So those three movies, Die Hard 1, Die Hard 3, and then Die Hard 2. Why did I put Die Hard 1 in the first, in the first place? It's because... Like I said in my other review, the, the script is really good, the acting was really good. It's not the best or the greatest, but it was good for the time. It was good for Bruce Willis' characters, and I like that. And the, the character was really interesting. The way they showed or reveal who I made. You were like, I like the fact that you as an audience know who the villain looks like, but the audience or the main character does not know how the villain look or the villain does not know the how the protagonist looks like and there's a great moment in that movie where they actually meet but they don't know that they're actual that two person it's really good writing it's just if it, it's a good reveal it's like peel, it's like peeling our layers off of an like an onion or, or uh, something that has layers uh and then you can tell and i like that that's why i like that movie a lot because it's just the, it's just a good writing and the characters and just really well done it's a way and then that moment with their interact and the way they talk it's just really really good i think that's what i can't remember if i gave it a nine or an eight i think i gave it an eight but that's why that movie was so good it's just that this this the, the script itself is really good well written really and then the story in the place and just it gave the character uh, so it gave the, there's some their stakes their stake their life at stake because there's a reason for the villain to do the, the thing that they do and Bruce Willis is there to really save the day or capture these bad guy it does it so why and then I put Die Hard 3 second place and it goes again the script here is really good it's just good the the uh, Bruce Willis characters is good. Samuel L. Jackson is great. The interaction between them were great. That there is stake, you know, uh, that the villain plays at these bomb in various location, and it's it just it, it actually goes off with it, it's a design. It, it's designed to distract the police from his real uh, from the from the villain's real objective, and I like that. It's like technically smart, intelligence, and. And our villain, our protagonist, don't really know what's going on, and a little slow to figure out what's going on because the villain is that more intelligent, that more is way smarter, thinking ten steps ahead of the time, and I like that because that's to me that's a sign of a good villain, a sign of a a, per, a good writing. You know, they're just it's not just one dimensional character. It's three-dimensional characters that these characters actually think and breathe and think like how a criminal or a, uh, a person of high IQ would think so that's why I like it this movie a lot Die Hard 2 and Die Hard uh, Die Hard 3 I'm sorry Die Hard 2 I put in third place because I didn't feel there was a stake there was a stake there's plane flying around and running the field yes i understand that's the stake but the stake it doesn't feel immediate it doesn't feel like his wife is gonna die in any minute doesn't quite have that yes i understand like i said it's in a plane it could crash and it show example of it okay i i understand but still it doesn't have the same uh threat to our main characters and then the, the villain doesn't quite feel threatening, doesn't quite feel uh, as intelligent. There is a twist in the movies. It still didn't really give it a, a good movie, you know, like the villain didn't feel authentic, doesn't feel real, feel hollow. It doesn't feel like this character had depth. You can't feel like this character has scars. You don't feel that this gender was tossed to the curb you don't see his suffering you don't feel his sadness you don't have any of that so 
and that's why I did not like the uh, part three. I, I'm sorry, part part two just didn't ha quite have the the great writing of the first one and the third one. That's why. But what I do like is uh, I like the fact that the story do mention, in particular, too. It does mention of uh, him saving a, a tower in back in California, I believe. And then in third, in the third one, they did say that he saved. Uh, he uh, it references back to the first movie. So I like that this is a really uh, a, a, not a, more like a franchise that these characters really know. They they live the life that that span of twenty years. So I like the fact that they're the writer in part three actually paying attention and pay a little tribute to the first movie in that as in that sense. The move part two does is the same thing, but the part three really really integrate the stories and uh, all together with the, they were brothers and I like that fact. That's why I put it in that order, guys. Uh, Die Hard one. Die Hard 3 and Die Hard 2. In that order, it's because of the writing, of the script, of the character development, both for the, the protagonist and the antagonist. That is why I put it in that way. So guys, what, 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 in which order would you put these three movies uh, in, that fa in that order? Would you let me know in the comment section below. I want to know what would you put in, a, in what order because this is my orders and this is my opinion and I would like to hear what you guys think so anyway guys please like thumbs up share subscribe and browse to my youtube channel I have a lot of content for you guys to check out please do so thank you and take care guys have a great one